Good morning, Santa Margarita. It's great to have you with us here on this Wednesday morning, and welcome to Eagle TV 2.0. I'm Jake Carroll. And I'm Lily Scannell. Today is Wednesday, March 6th. On today's episode, we have a few announcements and a midweek pick-me-up for you. But first, before we get started, we have a very special guest on, on today, and uh, Mr. Antonio, the Black Lab, is uh, almost, two, almost three years old. He's a uh, bomb-sniffing dog, and he's visited us here today on campus to keep us safe. He's a little nervous to be on set, but he's absolutely adorable. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, but, first, but first, before we get into the show, let's take a look back at, t at this day in history. Michelangelo Buonardi, the greatest of the Italian Renaissance artists, is born in the small village of Caprese on March 6, 1475. The son of a government administrator, he grew up in Florence, a center of the early Renaissance movement, and became an artist, a artist apprentice at age 13. Demonstrating obvious talent, he was taken under the wing of Lorenzo de Medici, the ruler of the Florentine Republic and great patron of the arts. In 1508, he was called back to Rome to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, the chief consecrated space in the Vatican. Michelangelo's epic ceiling frescoes, which took several years to complete, are one of his most memorable works. On this day in 1899, Bayer patents aspirin. In its primitive form, the active ingredient salicin was used for, for centuries in folk medicine, beginning in ancient Greece when Hippocrates used it to relieve pain and fever known to doctors since the mid-19th century. It was used sparingly due to its unpleasant taste and tendency to damage the stomach. Aspirin was made available in a tablet form and without a prescription in 1915. On this day in 1820, President James Monroe signs the Missouri Compromise, also known as the Compromise Bill of 1820, into law. The bill attempted to equalize the number of slaveholding states and free states in the country, allowing Missouri into the Union as a slave state, while Maine joined as a free state. Additionally, portions of the Louisiana Purchase Territory north of the 3630 Latitude Line were prohibited from engaging in slavery by the bill. This is quite a day in history, that's for sure. Now moving on to some announcements. All members of the 2019 Spring Sports Prayer Council are invited to attend a meeting on Tuesday, March 12th, from 7.45 a.m. to 8.20 a.m. in the campus ministry office. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among young people, and one in five experience severe mental disorder at some point during their life. So why aren't we talking about it? Don't Call Me Crazy in, is the library book of the week, and it is a collection of 33 actors, athletes, writers, and artists sharing their experiences with mental health. Now let's turn it over to Saka Keen for more updates. Good morning, everyone. I'm Leah Sakakini and here are some announcements. Campus Ministry is offering a retreat open to all students. The retreat will be held on April 11th through 13th. Spots are limited, so be sure to register right away. Juniors, we will have a few college visits this spring. If you wish to attend, make sure to register on Naviance and confirm your teacher's permission 48 hours in advance. Permission slips are available in the library and counseling office. Scheduled visits include UC Santa Cruz, University of Arizona, Biola, and many more. Seniors, Michigan State will accept applications from SM seniors for the next few weeks and give you the 15K per year scholarship for being an SM student. Don't miss out on this special partnership for the class of 2019. Calling all students who enjoy sharing their love of Santa Margarita with others. We need your help. Mascot opportunities available. No experience necessary. Just a willingness to wear the beloved Eagle costume and share the Eagle spirit of fun with our friends and potential SM students. Contact the communications office. That's all the announcements. Now back to the host in the studio. Thank you, Leia. And congratulations to the dance team for winning big in Florida. The team won first place in the national championship title in their jazz team and took home third place in two other divisions. Special congratulations to senior soloist Gabby and Isabella for placing 10th and 12th out of 90 senior soloists from across the country. Great job, ladies. All your hard work and determination has definitely paid off. It's Wednesday, which can only mean one thing. It's time for a midweek pick-me-up.
Those, cor those corgis were so cute. I don't know about all of you, but I definitely needed that to get my day going. That's for sure, and that one is hard to top, but I'm excited to see what the next, w what next week's Midweek Pick Me Up has in store. Make sure to keep sending in your adorable content to midweekpickmeup at gmail.com. Now let's wish a very happy birthday to Christine Collins, Emily Conboy, Garrett Webb, Dimitri Anastaskaskis, the wonderful Miss Lado, and the amazing Mr. Kreinsen. Well, SM, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for joining us. This has been Eagle TV 2.0. I'm Lily Skinnell. And I'm Jake Carroll. Have an amazing day, Santa Margarita. We'll catch you next time.